Darius, I wanted to ask you about those two guys sitting next to you. They didn't play that freshman night, did they? They never do. I wish you guys could see practices. Like, it's been a numerous amount of practices where each one of these guys have dominated in their own way and, like, really made it tough for everyone else on the floor. So to see them come out there tonight and showcase it in front of you guys is, like, it's big time. But we see it all the time in practices. What did Coach riding 52-26 on the whiteboard there early in the first half do for you guys when you were down double digits? Uh, it was just, like, a reference back to the Southern Miss game to, like, the way our team is built, like we're always going to have a chance regardless of what the score is. We just got to be tough on one end and work to get really good shots on the other end and just trust that at the end of the day, the ball's going to start to fall. We just got to keep chipping away and make sure we capitalize on those possessions. Colin, I mean, 25 points, zero turnovers, 10 of 16 from the field. Uh, what was working for you tonight? We had great spacing, great teammates. They were just able to crack the paint sometimes and kick it out, and the shots were just falling. Zach, uh, have you ever had a pinky come out of socket during a game? What's it like to put it back in and just go right back out there? No, I haven't. Thank God we have a we have an amazing trainer. I just I looked at it. I, I didn't know if I was seeing it right, and I I ran over to our trainer Aaron Shiner, and he he put it back in. It's gonna be sore tomorrow, but it's all right. Zach, there was a couple times during the game that uh, I know Blake did it, you did it. Uh, their big guys would would take you out to half court, and you guys would go by and draw foul. Was that something that? You know, maybe coach was saying, you know, we can beat those guys off the dribble, maybe try to get them foul trolls. Yeah, when when you get guys like these that draw so much attention, it's really one on one, and they're even the guys guarding us is worrying about them. So uh, it, we're able to create some stuff off of that. Aries, after what happened last year, how sweet is it to get back to the ASU championship game? And, you know, you said when you came back, you want to go back with these guys in the civil tournament, so you one step closer. Now, what's it mean now to get to? They some championship game and have a chance to go back to the tournament. Uh, I mean, it's a great feeling, especially like winning these tough games. But like I said last time I was in here, like my goal is wanted to handle my responsibility to make sure that these guys can experience something great, like the upperclassmen have experience. Like I want to do whatever I can to make sure that I can put these guys in a position to experience it. Zach, what can you say about what uh, Colin did out there tonight? Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, coming in with him as in the same class uh, every day since the summer. I've, seen him working and to finally like see him really go crazy. It's, it's pretty fun to watch and um, it's just special. Colin, at one point did you tell uh, Comer that you were the best freshman in the league or did you guys have that come on? Never. I would never say such a thing. <laughs> uh, Zach, how difficult of a cover is uh, Blanton? I know you had him a few possessions even down the stretch. Shiloh, you guys are rotating off him uh, quite a bit. Yeah, I think the fact that he can score at all three levels uh, is really difficult. Uh, just. We just try to do our best and fight, fight for the extra, extra inch on the contest. But he's he's good since he can get to the rim and shoot playing that mid range. Zach, those two guards next to you combined for 64 points, led your offense. What's it like playing with those two? Yeah, it's it's pretty fun because we don't I don't have to do much. Uh, they they do the they do the easy part on or the hard part on offense, and I we do the easy part just screening for them, getting them open. Darius, was it just a matter of time with the way Rob was guarding you that you were going to get going and get open? And what was it like trying to get free of him after that he didn't play here in Lynchburg a couple weeks ago? Uh, I mean, like it's any other game. Like each team has a game plan. So I mean, that's why we have halftime. We have halftime to make adjustments. And like, it isn't just me like fighting to get open, but it's also me trying to manipulate how they're playing me, so we can also free up things on the backside. Like. A couple guys got a couple wide open shots tonight just because of their coverages. So, I mean, it was kind of a different look. They changed a lot of different things from the last time that they played us, but I think we did a good job of rallying and, like, finding solutions, even though, like, in the first half, everything was not going in. But, like, we did what we did next week. Colin, Zach, how excited are you guys for uh, Sunday? Well, I think both of us are really excited. He can speak for himself, but I just know that it's a great opportunity to – play for who this university stands for and what we're going to play for uh, Sunday at 3 o'clock. Yeah, last time it was a crazy environment. It's going to be even crazier. And so it's, it's just the, the games you dream to play in as a kid, so it'll be fun. And Darius, what about you, your thoughts for uh, Sunday, especially you guys get to go back to a place where, you know, you had a setback two, three weeks ago? Uh, I mean, just go out there. Like, the more you can treat it like any other game, the better you are. Like, continue to be sharp the same way we have. It's going to, it might be a similar game where we might start off missing. So just staying poised in the mix, regardless of the environment, it's going to flip. Like, obviously, we had to crouch our advantage. We're not going to have a crouch our advantage. So just staying collectively together 
as much as possible. So. And this will be your fourth time playing a conference championship game. What'll be your message to, to other guys like like the two on your side? Have fun. Do what y'all do. Y'all yes, here for sir. a reason. Darius, like. Uh, you, you talk about staying poised when you start missing a bunch of shots. Like for people that don't watch all of your games and things, it feels kind of crazy that you, you just keep on shooting. Not one person person flinches. Neither of these guys, not the coach, not the fans. We're none of us are flinching. How, I mean, what is it like to have that confidence of the whole arena? Nobody's like, oh, come on, man, stop shooting. You just have the confidence of everybody around you. How does how does that feel? Does that keep you keep you chucking it out there? Uh, I mean. My teammates, they definitely do like a great job of encouraging me. Like, especially it gets, I'm not say hard, but like nobody wants to miss shots. So to have that type of encouragement from your brothers that's out there, we're all serving each other. So I know, like in a sense, they're sacrificing, and I'm got to shoot the shots. So I mean, just try to make the most out of each possession. Trust your work. Trust the shots. Like, I mean, they're gonna fall eventually. Like that's just how the game goes. So.